I got uh, I got done here this past Friday okay. and uh, got started. I didn't really do a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, yeah, if the weather's as good as it's been, I'll probably be working through the week, hoping to be finished by the end of this week. If, if we get rain, uh, it could be that I'll be working throughout the weekend. But what are you listening to? This uh, band called Blood Orange. Uh, yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. First step is usually I take it into Photoshop and kind of work on some preliminary um, concepts just like to, to try to get uh, you know rough ideas of what I'm going to do. It never really turns out that way, mm -hmm. like I, I just kind of play with different concepts of color and line and shape, form. Um, but I think the surface and location, our surrounding architecture mm -hmm. generally speaks to me. The surface, like the, this, in this case it's brick. Mm -hmm. I like the, the way that the paint is hitting the brick. It's got kind of an interesting texture. I saw that it's, there is a slight chance of rain, but it's first temperature looks like it's supposed to be pretty. I know. What do you think about it so far? Do you like it? I love it. I love, I love it. You know, I just love the size of it and I love the colors. Mm -hmm. And I love that I notice it anywhere I am. Oh, it's super oh, it's noticeable. Like, too. As, you know. Exciting reason to get out. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Do you ever get a negative uh, reaction to your, your work? Um, yeah, a, a lot. I mean, you know, pe some people don't. If you don't understand abstract painting, it's sort of hard to grasp. For some, it's hard to, to understand. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's uh, generally speaking, I I think once the work's done, I, I usually get a pretty positive reaction just because of the color. People can at least respond to the color. It's so vibrant. It's, uh, you know, not all of them are different colors, but I've got several, maybe three or four shades of blue. Yeah. Uh, a couple of shades of pink. Yellow, two yellows, uh, some black, white, gray, um, purples. I've got a couple of purples. Uh, trying to kind of, I don't know, like a lot of the color. You know, I'll, I'll sort of be spontaneous in my color choice. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll mix colors as I work. Sometimes I'll uh, put black into things. Sometimes I'll put white into colors mm -hmm. and see what happens. I've kind of learned, I guess, in recent years that color is really important to my work and I in, in the past never really I mean I always thought about color but mm -hmm. um, now I'm really thinking a lot more about it when I'm working I'm, I'm really putting a lot of emphasis on the colors I think the use of bright colors and drips and kind of uh, spontaneous mark making can you know uh, can be uh, an acquired taste I guess <laughs> yeah but, Overall, I really like, I never got too big into graffiti, but I do like to see something done on this scale versus what you're used to seeing. A lot of times, you know, people think graffiti, they think of like, you know, tags and stuff like that or whatever. So this is pretty cool. You're taking the whole thing and making it in canvas, kind of bringing new life to a building that's no longer being used anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah. and the best part of it too is the expressive like movement that he's creating like on this wall, like especially that little ball full of Mine's going crazy. It just, I don't know, it just moves your eyes around all over the place. Right. It has a lot of control in that. Yeah. 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 I, that for, for most, um, basically all through my 20s, I was working illegally, uh, you know, doing work um, on a lot of abandoned buildings in, in Atlanta and focusing on letters. And I think that people are starting to realize that, it, you know, you've got to. Some, some artists need to work through that in order to start doing things that are um, a little bit more mature and a little bit more kind of uh, cra well crafted. And, um, a lot of that early experience that I had, it definitely led me to be able to work uh, on the scale that I'm working now. Yeah.